Did you ever think you would be such a quote-unquote cat lady? No. It's been a difficult process, honestly, having cats. Especially eight of them now at this point. Not at all. You got me into the cat thing when I moved down to Manhattan and we became roommates. And I saw Meow Meow and I saw how gentle and how caring the animals could be. And um, I fell in love with Meow Meow. How low maintenance, but like how caring she could be. Like they're just really awesome animals. I don't know. We were walking back from getting a coffee down by Fordham University at Starbucks and I really wanted to take the bus back and you had decided that you wanted to walk back and I agreed because um, because I had a coffee so I was, you know, I was fine with whatever even though it was raining outside and we were walking back, we walked back pretty much like a, a while and we, um, we crossed in front of the four train by Dwayne Reed and we had seen this little black cat outside. Oh my god, like I always wanted a black cat, like a little black cat. She's a kit like it's a kitten, like let me go and pet her and I was like, alright, go and pet her and then you picked her up and you started walking with her and I was like, alright, well, what happened to just petting her? But you just kinda of started carrying her along the way and we just kinda of started talking with it and getting used to it and I don't know, it just seemed so natural what we were doing was taking her in and stuff like that. So I think the decision to take her in just happened. And um, how was that? Salem has ever been, she's been a part of our family ever since. So tell me what you thought when I told you that she was pregnant. I was like, can I curse? I was like, what the fuck? Like, no, we're not keeping this cat. Like, absolutely not. Like, but she ended up having six. No, point blank period. Something in my instinct was like, no, like we have to keep this cat. Like something's wrong. Like if we give her up, it just does not feel right. Like, I don't know. I just, I felt super guilty coming all of this way and not giving her a home so here we are if they were still outside if we had not picked her up and we had let her walk away when we put her to back down she probably would have just stayed outside and given birth outside and all I remember is like that little sto snowstorm that we had and I'm just thinking that like okay like I remember during that so snowstorm I was just thinking that Oh my god like if these if she had given birth outside she probably would have made it up to that point but up until then like if that snowstorm had happened those kittens would have been dead for sure if not her as well but like like that snowstorm was so bad and people were so unprepared for that snowstorm that something would have happened she would have been gone i was in my room sleeping and uh, my sister came through and was like Where's the black cat, which is the mother of the kittens? And I was like, I don't know. Probably in the kitchen somewhere. So she walked away and then a few moments later, I hear, Brittany, Brittany, it's happening, it's happening. And I ran over and, and the cat's in the kitchen with like a little gray kitten hanging out of her, like by an umbilical cord. And like I instantly went into like caregiving mode and I was just like, okay, I threw on some gloves and I ended up having to cut him free. And then I looked over and the closet that we set up for her already had three kittens in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's already been giving birth. She did it all by herself. It was incredible. Um, so that was four kittens. Then she went back to the box and was caring for the kittens and then she let out a little meow and a fifth one flew out. And I was just like, wow, um, five kittens, that's crazy. The placenta came out and we ended up finding out that it was the rut because it was the smallest one of the group and it didn't really sound like it was responsive like it let out one little meow and then it was quiet 
So I called a friend of mine and uh, was asking for advice. And basically I had to try to revive the kitten with my two fingers on its chest, just rubbing. And after a few minutes, 10 minutes, we like called it in and was like, okay, she's gone. And like, I don't know, in that moment I realized how fragile those lives are. And it really made me realize how worth it it was to be able to be that person to help this family out. Because if not, I don't know where it would be right now. They could be gone.